was born William Francis Washington. Damn, I hated that name. It all started in 1945. My daddy and mama went into this bar, a white bar. They had to stand. They was not allowed to sit down and all of that bullshit. You know what I'm talking about. Three white folks started fucking with them. Looks like niggas waiting for bananas. They shouted. My parents were definitely two people that you did not want to fuck with. Daddy was quick to shoot you and mama was quick to cut you. So daddy got to shoot him and mama got to cut him, motherfuckers. And they went to jail. It was 16 years later when I left the orphanage. I ran and ran until I found myself in England. It was 1964. I discovered a new world and was finding a new me. And it wasn't the Air Force, you see. That was a tool to get me over here. So uh, I began to look, what am I going to do? I wasn't going to work in no car wash and <laughs> stacking shelves in supermarkets. You know, they're going to fire me because I like joking too much. So I really had a hard time. What am I going to do? I left the uniform behind with William and I snuck out. Damn, I was good at that. And then I found someone else. He was Gino. Gino Washington and the Ram Jam Band, of course. The 60s was a great time to be alive. Everybody had more glide in their stride and more loot in their suit. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa! Fella. <laughs> what do you think of this guy then? Yeah, he's one of your better ones. One of my better ones? <laughs> Gino Washington. Remember the name. Shall do. Look, do you seen anyone new in here tonight? Anyone important looking? Oh, in that corner over there, see that chap with the suit on? Yeah. He's new. Is he having a good time? I think he is. He better bloody be. <laughs> Yes, fucking yes! You smashed it! What did I tell you, eh? I knew it the minute I signed you. What was that, your third of a gig? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're the fucking star! They loved you! Didn't I say it? Black is in. That was me. I predicted that. Hey, where was you before the gig? I wanted to have a word. I, I was held up. I wanted to tell you that I'd had a phone call earlier to tell me that the manager of the Pooh Bell nightclub was coming to check you out. When? Tonight. You, you gotta be kidding me. That, that, that's his soul. Let's just calm down. And hope he enjoyed it as much as that fucking crowd did. If he gets you booked into the Pooh Bell, that's a game changer. We'll be made. Did, did you... Did you say people get paid to do this? <laughs> oh, yes, my son. Do you know you come for a drink? Uh, uh, yeah. It's coming. I can smell it. 
You've just got to believe it, and when it does, that money... In the meantime... My truth. Either he didn't make it, or he didn't like what he saw. I don't know, maybe Poobal aren't there yet, with the whole black vibe. We can make this work. I've got to go. for my curfew. Man, I didn't even know a name. I ran like a motherfucker, but it was like I was running backwards in the wrong direction, away from what I wanted, away from the girl, and away from Gino. Right, little lady, to La Poubelle. Yes. Best pub in town, are you? You've been there before. I'm the manager. Tell me you mock me, but I'm sitting here all by myself. 